You see, I told you. I told you. I had to turn my light on. Believing she was Hepshedset, the guardians allowed her in the secret chambers, and she let me in. By the energy on that wall, I don't know what it is. She blessed me. Her temple. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's get into it. I'm Kenyatta, the art architect. On this channel, we will destroy and we will build simultaneously because we understand that as we destroy, as something is destroyed, something is built in its place. Once again, I'm Kenyatta, but you can refer to me as Miss Kenyatta, Queen, Goddess, or Ma'am. There is no, no other name by which I will respond. If you are here to enjoy the reading, take what resonates and leave the rest. Now, by nature of some of the readings, there may be aspects that you feel you do not res resonate with. But since they have been God-given dreams, visions, and insights, it is essential and imperative for you that you use your God-given third eye to catch what is meant for you. As there is something in all of my readings that will resonate with you in some way, shape, or form. But this is why you have been sent here. If you feel they do not, if you feel like you can't open that aspect of yourself, that third eye, move on. Disrespect, a spirit of lack, being common, and a hunger for ignorance will not be tolerated here in my realm on my channel. Now open your hearts, minds, souls, and spirits and be ready to receive, conceive, and birth. The title of this reading from the Rider Waite Tarot deck is The Devil, the Pimp. That's what he is. That's what he is, the pimp, the pimp. That's what he is. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> the Devil, the Pimp. That's what he is. That's what he is. <laughs> All right, let's look at some definitions here before we get started. Here we got... Okay. <clears throat> what is a pimp? A pimp is a person who solicits for a prostitute or brothel and lives off the earnings. A person who procures sexual gratification for another procurer, pander. So we don't have to look at just the sexual aspect of it. In in, you know, okay, that's just our basic understanding here. Okay, um, another definition here, we have a man who controls, it doesn't have to be a man, okay, who controls prostitutes, but we, well, it doesn't have to be a man, let's just gonna leave it like that. A man who controls prostitutes and arranges clients for them taking part of their earnings in return, okay? Now he controls and he arranges and takes part of their earnings. Okay, does he take part or does he take it all? Shit, I don't know. Let's look. Now, what is the devil? The devil, from Greek, diablos, slanderer or accuser, the spirit or power of evil. Though sometimes used for minor demonic spirits, the word devil generally, generally refers to the prince of evil spirits and as such takes various forms in the religions of the world. I did a video called The God Said You Can't Come In. And I talked about going in the gate when the gate was open. When the woman at the gate opened the gate. Now as I sit inside the gate, inside the party with the gods and the goddesses, I looked over to my left. And it was a great chasm. And there were people on that on the other side of that chasm. 
And it was just like no way they, they could even just walk over there. It was a chasm, okay? It was just a bit huge, huge, huge chasm space, okay? That they could not... Um, but it they weren't even trying to. Now, they were looking and watching, but it was like they knew that ain't our place, that it's not our space. We're not going over there, not going to even try to. But in the midst of the crowd over there, I saw an energy pimp walk. Y'all remember pimp walk from back in the day? A walk that they, you know, was a stereotypical thing you would see. Like you would see, uh, <laughs> uh, oh man, what was that? I'm going to get you sucker. I'm going to get you sucker. Dirty mother, don't you say that. Was that, was that, was it, it was Huggy Bear in that movie? Y'all remember Huggy Bear from um, Starsky's Hutch? I don't remember his, and was his name Anthony or, oh, I can't remember his name right now, his real name, okay? But anyway, you know, he played in Starsky and Hutch, he played a pimp, okay? So, you know, they had him in that movie with the uh, pimp gear on from back in the day, okay? He was doing this pimp walk, walking through. Okay, and it was funny because they, he had on these big uh, shoes, these shoes, you know, I think they called them stacks or something, I'm not sure, but in the hill, it was a little aquarium. <laughs> and there was a goldfish in there, I think, you know, he was walking, doing his pimp walk and whatnot, okay, but <laughs> he broke the uh, heel of the shoe, okay, in the little aquarium. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was that movie, okay, but anyway... That is how that energy that I saw walking through that crowd over there on that other side, he, had, he was pimp walking, <laughs> okay? And I looked, I said, the devil, and they said, yes, that's who that is. I said, he a pimp. He was dressed just like a pimp. Now, it wasn't as flashy, <laughs> okay? His attire was not as flashy. Okay, as like, you know, we see in the movies and stuff like that, like on that movie, okay? Y'all remember Martin when they did, oh, I was trying to save the theater, okay? And they did that that thing, uh, oh, shit, well, I, don't, I don't know, I'm just going to call it the pimp show, shit, I don't remember. But anyway, it wasn't as flashy, but in terms of colors, <laughs> okay, he had on black. And I think I remember red, but I damn sure remember black, but hey, he had a smile on his face, he was pimp walking through, okay? And I, I was like, he a pimp. I was like, yeah. And um, I shared that with a friend of mine. He said, yeah, he a pimp. <laughs> okay, now, there is a difference between, I think, all three. Satan, Lucifer, and the devil. Okay. Damn sure Lucifer. Okay, it's different than, than, you know, Christianity morphed those into one, but they're not, okay? Um, but the devil here, okay, and like I, I did a video on Judaism, where we see that energy comes into play. There was no uh, talk necessarily of a devil, okay, in Judaism, I think before their time in Babylon. Now, don't be looking at it from Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. It, that's not the order that the book was written in. Histor historically. Okay. Matter of fact, they believe that the first book that was written was Job. Okay. But anyway. Alright. Um, in the canon that we have. In the Bible, that the current Bible that we have, okay? So don't think that it was written in this order. No, it was not. <laughs> All right, but anyway, okay? But it was during their exile in Babylon when they began to uh, speak of an opposing force. The sl What did it say? The slanderer, the accuser, the opposer. All right, but let's just see what we get here. I'm hearing two more shuffles. All right, let's get into it. Here we have Eight of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> the Sun card, upright. Nine of Cups. In reverse, 
Eight of Pentacles, upright, and here we have the Four of Cups, upright. Okay. I'm hearing, get out your mind. All death and destruction here. Okay. These things here begin in the mind. If you're wrapped up and tied up in your mental state, you cannot be free. Freedom begins there as well, in the mind as well. It's time to set yourself free. Time to loosen yourself. Here, I'm, I'm here like loose your garments, but like this, these things are tied around her, okay? And free yourself, okay? Your mental self here, your mental space. I feel that, uh, I'm not quite sure how this reading is going to go. We're going to see, okay, I'm never sure, shit, until, you know, I'm um, doing it, okay, what, what's going to happen. But let's see what's being said here. I feel like um, what it is, someone is looking for something and here, what it is that you are looking for, okay, uh, the sunshine that you're looking for, happiness, joy, and peace. This is, this is tied to someone's childhood. Okay, but shit, what ain't? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? What ain't? Get him. I didn't say them first five years are formative years. And is it the first five? Um, I know it's the formative years. You know, the foundation of your life is built. Who you are, who you will become is pretty much built and solidified in them first five years. Uh, but I'm not sure if it's that at that point or another point, but still in your youth where they say who you are at that point is pretty much who you're going to be. Now, of course, nothing is, is you know, uh, uh, it's not that anything can, can be changed. Of course it can't be changed, okay? But this is here, your understanding of life in the world, I mean, in the realms even, okay? Period. That's it. But, of course, things can change. But I'm here, but you must be willing to change them here. Whatever it is that you are looking for, okay, this sunshine here. Be, you know, I feel like because you are not uh, happy, not content, don't think that you have what it is that you want in life. You may feel like, you know, every, things that you want, like, uh, 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 like it's boring as fuck. You always got to work for it. Why can't I just have it for free? This type of thing, okay? But I'm also hearing this person or this energy possibly has played some kind of game with your mind. They're here to oppose you. They are here to accuse you. Okay. They want to set you up. Okay. This energy here, this pent energy here, this accuser, this opposer, this slanderer, game. I mean, I watched a video one time on YouTube. It was old. It was like, I think it was 2020, but it was old. It was like from the 80s, I believe. And that's what the, the, the segment was about, pimps. You know, and they was talking to their pimps and talking to the um, uh, the women that work for them and everything. And it's like, wow, whole different world reality realm. I'm, I knew this guy when I was with the Hebrews that I, I, I had met in Israel. He was from here, though. And he told me, we, you know, he used to talk, me and his, he had two wives. We always talk at night, you know, stay up. And he told, well, one of his wives, we, he told me, he said, baby, you know, he said, the pimps raised me. <laughs> That's how he was. The pimps raised me. I was raised on the street. You know, and he would, he was breaking it down, you know, the mind of a pimp. He was like, they raised me. And how they think and how they capture the mind, okay? You know, like they say, you know, they call the preachers and pastors pimps. You know, a lot of, or like a lot of them was former pimps. <laughs> Matter of fact, I believe one of the uh, leaders in one of the communities I was in, excellent, smart leader, he had been a pimp. Okay. They know how to capture the mind, one's mind, to get them wherever they want them to be. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a negative thing, necessarily what I'm talking about, you know, if, if they've moved on from that space, okay? But they know the game. They know how to play the game, the mind game. 
But he told me, he said, baby, I could have been a pimp. I was raised by the pimps. I knew exactly what to do. This may be kind of off topic here, but one thing, he, this aspect I'm about to say, he said, but I couldn't do it because I love my mother too much. He said, my mother wasn't the problem. My father was the problem. But when I was watching the video, I mean, it was like, wow, they had a whole, a whole, I want to say in one respect, they had a whole different world and realm of reality they lived in. But at the same time, when you really listen to it, I was like, that's this whole fucking atmosphere that we're in. Shit. But I feel like someone or something here, this energy here has played with someone's mind, okay, to make them think and feel and believe less than what they, what it, who they truly are. Now, this might just be more than just a, just a person, an individual. Like I said, I feel like that's just, listen to them, like that's this whole realm, that's this whole atmosphere. Runners, rulers, controllers who tell you wherever they tell you, like I said, these invisible ideas that ain't rooted and grounded in, in anything. Where? Where? Where's that come from? And even if you find somewhere where it come from, why got to be that? Like somebody told me one time, we talking about something, well, I can't think of it no different because this is how I was raised. This is how I was raised. I was like, just, this is what my mama told me. Just because they taught you that don't mean it's real and right. Or even if it is, it's real and right for them. Can't it ain't nothing that can be different for you if you stuck like that? I'm here. I choose to be. Boom. There you it. There it is. It's a choice. But I'm here. This person, whoever this is, has made a choice to allow this energy to run, rule, and regulate them. They don't want anything any different. This opposer here, this accuser, this slanderer who has done this to this person has, this, you know, has, um, they have decided, I feel, that this is where they want to be. What you say goes. The pimp. He the pimp. The lovers. Upright. Five of swords. Upright. The world. In reverse, the moon upright kind of I, it puts me in my I, what I'm thinking here is I don't know if it fits necessarily, but it probably does. When and Dream Girls, you know, when Jennifer Hudson's character uh, Effie was like, "Hell no, nah. we ain't about to be no motherfucking backup singers." What the fuck? It's a fucking trap, trap. And what he say? So slick and sly. I ain't gonna hurt you, baby. I ain't gonna hurt you. But he did. <laughs> he knew what he was going to do. He knew who he wanted. He, he knew how he wanted to handle things from jump. You saw him, how absurd he was watching and was observant. And probably picked up, as them girls were performing, probably picked up on every single one's personality and energy. Who, what, where, when. Just study, just study, just study them. Just like we being studied. I know it's putting that one's algorithm. And in that one's algorithm. Or oh, what they say, what did they think? Put it, I know how to put that in their algorithm. Make it pop up on their feed. This person, this energy here will make you think that it loves you. Make it think that it, it cares for you. I ain't gonna hurt you, baby. Me and you, all the way. I'm going to do this for you. Get you here. Get you here. I know it didn't go that way for you, but just, you just keep on going. Just keep on working. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Because he's determined he's going to win at all costs and accuse and oppose. And slander. And keep you here. Trap. I'm here when you could but walk out, but you do not see or choose not to or don't want to. I don't want what you got. They love me. They take care of me. They provide for me. They give me little or nothing. Didn't it say take most of Have some of the money. Did that work for you? You owe me that. You right. Okay. And this is a cycle here that is never ending. 
can be. Having you, having whoever this may be, any of us really living in illusion. And not knowing the, the truth. What is the, the truth? What is the real thing? What is the intention behind it here? But do we even think like that? Here we have King of Swords uh, in the reverse. Ace of Swords uh, in the reverse. And here we have the Empress in the reverse. You don't have no control over yourself. You don't have any, you know, you don't rule and regulate yourself any longer under this energy. I mean, I rule you. I put, ain't nothing new coming in for you. I put you in my place, the place that I want you to be in, okay? Ain't nothing new coming in for you, okay? And you cannot even exist in this energy here of abundance. That is truly meant for you. It's mine. I take it. I want it. I got it. The nature, I'm hearing, of the energy is to oppose you. To, I'm hearing to slander, okay? Maybe to the, the uh, uh, higher beings, higher forces, God, whatever, okay? To keep you at bay. To keep you from coming into the reality and truth of yourself and your being. And, 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 and being enlightened. Your enlightenment. Because what's going to happen when you become enlightened? Ain't gonna be no control. You gonna be you gonna control you. This energy will no longer be able to. But at the same time, you may say, huh? Huh, Miss Kenyatta. This energy is here to help you, opposing you. These things come to make us strong. But what do we do with it? Do we lay down and say, oh, okay. I'm going to let this energy control rule regulate me, dominate me. Because I ain't got it. I ain't got the power. I ain't got the control. I ain't got nothing. This, 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 this energy here, this is what they thrive off of. This is, you know, this they, they thrive here in the Ten of Pentacles, keeping you here in this space of lack of abundance, this empress in reverse, no abundance here of self, of being. They're going to keep on telling you, just keep joy coming in the morning. It's coming. It's on its way. Not really telling you the shit already here. It's you. You're the abundant one. See, it's biting and eating off you. Getting this off you. You the one with the power. That's the game. That's that mind game. It is, it's, it's, not, it's not a hard game here for this energy to do this. I think that's with, the, uh, with that saying, know thyself, why they say it's, it's the, they used to tell us, like I'll say, I'll say it all the time. When I was in school, it's the greatest saying of all time, know thyself, know who you are. Like I said, the pastor uh, who died that I, used to be my pastor, one thing he said, you know, in the last days, the devil, the devil, he said, is going to get you through your mind. Your mind. Keep you here in the dark. This illusion. About the reality of what? Of self. And keeping you bound. No freedom here. Now the interesting thing is. When I saw that energy over there. Pimp walking through the crowd. With the big smile on his face. The energies that were over there. The other people that were over there. Looked at him and threw their hand. Like oh here he come. They was already hip to the game. They knew who and what he was. They didn't look at him with no kind of fear. Trembling. They knew who they were. They knew, I'm not saying they were less than in anything. They knew they could not cross over that chasm and go into that gate. They weren't even trying to. They, that, that's not to say that they wasn't shit. They less, they in fear nothing. They, their role was where they were. But they knew themselves. And they stayed 
in their realm, not in, they wasn't looking over there like, oh, damn, why can't we get over there? No, they was just looking. There's all we over here, they over there. It's all good. Wasn't no fighting, wasn't no hatred between the two. But when the nigga walked through, the motherfucking pimp walked through, the devil walked through, pimped out, smiling, hey. They was looking like, please. And ignored him and turned their back on him. Why? Because they even knew thyself. They knew who what and what they was. It wasn't nothing he could do with them. Wasn't no game he could play on. They you hey, they know who they are. Shit. <laughs> I'm looking for others. Anybody here else in the crowd who don't know shit about who and what they are. That's what he is. And he's having a ball doing what he has been set and called to do. But see, all things work together for the good to them that love the Lord. That's what the scriptures say. Love the Lord, love thyself, God, God within. I am God. That's what uh, the scriptures say. Ye are God's. Jesus said, I am God. Why do you have an issue with me saying it? It's in your book. Go, it's in the song. I believe 82.6. Hindus then told us, I am God. We are. This is what we are. But you've been told, no, you're not. I, again, and I don't care how nobody feel about it. I'm not perfect. Program. But I'm God. How? Telling yourself you don't know yourself. In your divinity, we are. What do what do they say? We're not humans having. A, we, what do they say? We are not spirit. We are not humans having a spiritual spirit. We're we're spirit. We're spiritual having a human experience. We're spiritual. We're soul. We're perfect. We're not human. The human dies. The spirit lives on. The soul continues on to the next realm. It is perfect. It is us. It is us. It is who and what we are. Perfection. I read the book of Job on this channel. And when God finally spoke to Job, God said to Job, you fix it. Job crying out to God, why God, why, 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 why would you do this? Why would you do that? Look at who I was. Blah, 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 blah. God said, you fix it. Why? Because you are empowered to do so. You are not a child, you are not an infant. When I was a, a child, I acted as one. When I became a man, a human, I put away those, an adult rather, I put away childish things. You fix your situation. And his faith had made him whole. Period. Okay, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Nay, Elishne, Sir, Mashnuk is in the Earl Wallace, Nay Rag, 
بس ليش ما تسويش لي فيلا؟ ولا يلا عمرك تنام. اسمعوا 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 اسمع